He just goes, I know. I'll continue I'll to not do stuff, stuff and I'll yeah. lie about it. It's yeah, a that's... harmless little it lie. It is. If it's, it's one, there's yeah, no it's real a one victim time, here. But if yeah. it's a pattern. Yeah. I'm really curious. Again, the origin story <laughs> for Greg uh, pitched an idea in our weekly meeting. He said, I want to bring up a topic, little lies that you tell your spouse. Right. And why? Yeah. And immediately I thought, like, oh, God, what did Greg <laughs> lie to Mario about? But then Greg <laughs> yeah. said that uh, he wasn't the one. And it wasn't even us. Um, the origin story. Yeah, I have friend. a couple examples. <laughs> no, it is a friend. And I asked her if I could talk about this. And she said, sure, just don't bring up my name. Uh, so a friend of mine and her husband recently moved to a different state, bought a house, the whole nine yards, like three car garage, backyard. It's really, really nice. And installed security cameras, hired a gardener, whole new life. For wow. Them. So, Fancy friends. I know. Really nice. So one day she's out and about running errands and the gardener texted her, hey, I'm going to be a little bit early today. I hope that works with your schedule. And she said, yeah, that's fine. So she Why would you have to be home for the gardener? I, no, he was just letting her know that he's going to be oh, okay. early. Right. Um, she didn't have to be home. Uh, but So she texts her husband and says, hey, the gardeners are going to be a little bit early. Can you run out in the backyard and make sure you've scooped up any dog poop that we might have missed because they're going to be mowing the lawn? And he said, sure. About an hour later, she realizes, oh, the security cameras never notified her that anybody was in the yard. And so she texts her husband back, did you go out and pick up the dog poop? And he said, yep, I did. <laughs> oh, yeah. Totally. <laughs> and so then she thought, maybe I'm wrong. So she looked at the cameras and fast forwarded <laughs> the whole hour. Not once did he go out there and pick up anything. No. And then he said, <laughs> yep, I did. So she was really upset by that. And, you know, I think she confronted him with it. And then he said, oh, I just, I just forgot. And I'm, I'm sorry. She said, no, but if you forgot, why did you tell me you did? Right. Why did you lie about Because yeah. he doesn't want to hear about it. I guess so. And so she never really got a clear answer. So it made me wonder, why would you lie about that? Just yeah. say, oh, damn, I forgot. Or, I mean, I would I would bring it up. And as soon as they would tell me that, because I just forgot about it, I, I would have let that go. Because there's, there's, no, there's no harm damage to, you know, yeah. going and not picking up the dog poop. Right. You know, and like, oh, you forgot. So you're like, oh, damn it. I just forgot. It's just, you know, yeah. Yeah, I know. Sure. But instead... To say, yeah, I did. When you know damn well he didn't, because yeah. you were looking. Yeah. At That's the such a child thing to do. Yeah, but yeah. you right. you assume you That's assume, super low level. You assume uh, her reaction is like, oh, okay, well, you forgot. No, you he, he's assuming that her reaction is going to be bigger than than. Oh well, yeah, and it yeah. probably will be because he mm. always forgets and he never does yeah, what see? he says he's going to do. Here we do. go. <laughs> I don't, Sammy. I don't know these people at yeah. all. But what I'm saying is, like, my reaction would be if, like, you know, I said, "Hey, can you do this?" and then I found out that they didn't, and but lied and, and, about it. And as soon, but yeah, but as soon as they told me, I, said, I just forgot, and I, I was like, "That's at least a little understandable and totally. harmless." Totally, totally the, understandable. The very low level. Where it starts to raise to a level of concern would be if it was like uh, you told me you were going one place and then you went a different place. Yeah, you know, um, like because that that's a little bit more. You're covering up a behavior or something else that you might be doing as opposed to you just forgot to do take the trash out or but in I, this case pick up dog yeah poop. if you forget it's one thing but if you say yeah i did and you completely did not you kind of wonder yeah well, mm, i mean look a lie's a lie that's right. weird why are you know? lying about that yeah and i'm sure other people you know would feel even more upset about it than other like you know i'm not upset about it so there's no so, wrong uh -huh. answer just I, the lie yeah. just couldn't well, be explained. It, so, okay, Nacho lies to you about that, Menace. What do you mm. say? Uh, what do I say? Yeah, what's I mean, your reaction? Are I, you pissed? Uh, I mean, I don't, I'm disappointed about that kind of stuff right there. I'm I don't not really mad. Care. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's serious. worse. I don't want to keep on having to ask, is the thing. And then that's where it leads to an argument. Yeah. Well, see, that's you different. Know? That's different where we're talking about just the lie. Right. Yeah. That's, that's what she questioned. And it bummed her out for a couple of days. I yeah. would agree with that because that's not a good person. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's one, like I said, it's one thing to forget. It's another just to say, I did it and you didn't do it. Right. And you lied about and it. And that means he had yeah. no intention of ever doing it, which also means that he's not that's helping not in the true. household. Well, it is true uh, because yeah. if no. it was an honest mistake of just forgetting to do it, why wouldn't he say that? Right. Why wouldn't he just say that? 
other than if he, if he had no never, intention of doing it, right, he just he, realized like, oh crap, I've had that where he, he very hey, did well you ever could have forgotten blankety blank? And I go, ah, oh, damn it. And that, that's my reaction. I go, ah, oh, damn it. No, forgot. I'm sorry. I'm telling you, he's a, f the reason he lied is he's she's afraid nuts. of her reaction. Yeah. For yeah, sure. she sounds dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> but it sounds her like reaction, he... so put it on her, her reaction yes. was not going to be all casual about yeah. it. She was going to double down yeah. and be upset. For sure. That it would be her reaction it. that's problematic. And so yeah. therefore... Perhaps. So she's yeah. the root of all what, their problems. Well, yeah. What yeah. choice did he have? Does he have a pattern of unreliable behavior where she's always asking him to do things Around and then the house, he's not? 100%. Okay, cool. And that's why her reaction 100%. is so high. It's not because, oh, you do so much all the time, you forgot... You know, this one yeah. time, no big deal. That's not the situation. No, this is a person who in the laundry area will like dump his dirty clothes right next to the hamper, not in the hamper, <laughs> next uh, to it. And then you I'm know, sure he's like, like <laughs> micromanaged to death about everything that he does wrong. To be fair, and I'm being totally honest, she doesn't micromanage him. She, I told her, like, just let it sit there. See how long the laundry sits right. there. And she's like, oh, it's going to drive me crazy. I said, I know, Will, but see if he'll pick it up on his own little petty things like that i know what she tells you and she probably downplays it maybe mm. on her reaction maybe like she's all cash about it but i don't believe it no i think she I, i'm guessing i don't know that she does a lot and so when she asks mm. him to do one she's thing Superwoman, and guys. he can't even do that <laughs> then he gets in trouble so then he just lies about it yeah and then i mean perhaps that's right I think both things can be true. She yeah. could be a, ra a ragged C. It, it's possible. Yeah. And he's also not a trustworthy person. Right. <laughs> and that's the, yeah. the concerning part was that he said he did. And we hey, just can you guys uh, pardon me for one second? I got to ask Greg a question off the air. We'll be right back. Okay. Watch her so sadly. I don't know exactly who it is. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah, she'd probably get really mad. I don't. No, she, she's probably more measured. She's, I don't yeah. know. Did you hear who I asked it was? I don't know who that uh, is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. never mind. I do know who that is. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know her? Uh, yeah. I, probably, I, just, I promised I wouldn't say her name. I yeah. think maybe it's mid-level reaction then. Yeah, I don't think she's a hard the copy. Maybe. But then I thought, like, what little lies do people tell their husbands, wives, partners, and why? The two that I came up with for myself is if I watch a show before we've watched it together. Uh, I've done that in the past. <laughs> and, and show you. And the reason to, and you act, I'm talking about lies of commission or omission. Um, like actively saying the, raw, the a lie or just not telling or, someone. Or just not saying something. And then when, when it's time to watch it, cue it up as so then you can't see it's already been played. Well, that's omission. And then kind of you know, acting like I hadn't seen the show before. Yeah. I've done that in the past, not lately. And then the other <laughs> one, and the reason why is because I'm excited to watch it, obviously. That's the reason. Sure. Uh, the other one is one time he got a deodorant that I thought smelled weird and I couldn't take it. It was overpowering. And I waited like a month to say, can you change your deodorant brand? I said Ooh. I liked it and I, it wasn't true. It's actually terrible. And the reason... Is I didn't want to hurt his feelings. Oh, babe. No. Now, what reason would you have to lie about, yeah, I went out and picked up all the poop when you didn't? Yeah. Right. It's very mm -hmm. suspect. Uh, here's some reaction on the text. She sounds like her and Sammy are the same person. Yeah, we just got an insight into why Sammy's divorced. Uh, so I said, Sammy's reaction <laughs> yeah. solidifies why he lied. <laughs> but we don't even, you guys are assuming her reaction. So I said, That's the fact fair. that she is yeah. checking cameras to see whether or not he's doing chores is all that needs to be said. Overbearing person that likes to keep their partner under their thumb. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, micromanaging. That's yeah, what like, I said. What, yeah. What made her think to even go to the cameras because, and look? Yeah. She's, because she texted him and said, hey, the gardeners are running early can you go pick up the dog poop and he said yes and her she notification never went she off expected okay an alert. yeah right but the fact that then she, she even went to the cameras to look well she, no she didn't get the notification right i understand that so then she checked maybe it just didn't notify her and she realizes oh he never went out and then hmm. when he she asked him no, he said that's, yep i did that's logical because if you're expecting to see the gardeners when they show up right uh, then oh was something wrong with my cameras yeah and then you would well when he went out he must have oh he never went out right Ooh. and you're you guys are putting this all on her yeah i definitely am <laughs> 626 says she sounds mega psycho oh yeah. come and on. we know who this person is and she's yeah. she's not psycho i, I wouldn't yeah. put her under the umbrella of psycho no no She's a very but devoted, the problem is loving wife, and she wants to take care of their new home. They've already set a tone, so everything he does, she's going to be on him about it. Yeah, now he's going to know. Now, now, now he needs to know at least to trick the cameras. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, but yeah, like see, at least make the notification that's, happen. That's the part that sucks. Like every little thing that he does, 
moving forward, if it's dog poop or the laundry or something, because well, that's how okay, kids going to have. Okay, but didn't he start that problem? That's how kids figure uh-huh. out how to lie, right? Like, uh, mm-hmm. did you brush your teeth? And you go, yeah. yeah. And then the parents go, this is what I do. And I go, did you? And I go over there and I, I feel the bristles of their toothbrush. I'm like, they're dry. Yeah. You didn't so brush your teeth. So now they know to run it. So now they know at least to soak the toothbrush under the water <laughs> for a second. Right. Yeah, stupid or, stuff or like put that. put toothpaste in your mouth and just make it, mm-hmm. you know, smell like toothpaste. <gasps> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But yeah, I, I wouldn't put it all on her. No, yeah. I don't think it's all on her. There's a reason he lied and it's just stupid. Yeah. And I'm sure it was not malicious. Or maybe he it's said, not. F it. This is why we pay a gardener. Oh, maybe. So, like, so pick gardeners don't pick up poop. But again, say that. Or, just, or at the very least, run it over the lawnmower. Just you know? mow over it. Yeah. yeah just just fur. Just came some fur, you know? I think the reason behind it is weird. I think like, he just didn't want to hear about yeah. it. The Woody Show. Uh, first shout out. This text from the 512 says, y'all quickly becoming my new favorite morning show. Oh, oh nice. nice. Listening in Austin, headed to Elgin, Texas, to sell some clean yerba mate. Ooh. Thanks for the entertainment. Well, no, thank you for listening. Uh, thanks. Yeah, we're getting a lot See, of love out of Austin. Yeah. It's great. A lot of love out of Texas in general. Yeah. yeah. Austin, Dallas, Fort Worth. Mm-hmm. A 97.1 The Eagle. Love it. 101X in Austin. Wherever you are, hopefully uh, you're checking out The Woody Show. Even when you go out of town, there's tons of stations yep. throughout the country. And, of there course, on the free iHeart Radio app. All right, the uh, the question at hand. You know, uh, Greg was talking about this uh, friend of his, and she had asked the husband because the, the person was coming early. to mow the lawn and uh, wanted all the dog poop picked up so right. the husband said that uh, yeah he would go ahead and do that and then yeah at least check to see if there's any mm-hmm. left that she, they missed. she never got a notification yeah. on her phone that the cameras had triggered and so she went back and looked at all the footage and realized that uh, he hadn't done it and he said oh yeah i did yeah i did yeah, yeah. so she questioned why yeah. why would you lie about that uh let's see we have uh this one says my girlfriend can't sleep sometimes i told her there's a pressure point on her lower neck that if pressed induces sleepiness so when she can't sleep, I will press on it to placebo her into getting tired and falling asleep. Okay, okay that's strange. I think it's an okay thing. I mean, yeah. look, if it works for her, it helps it, her fall yeah. asleep. It helps her. Uh, my girlfriend, was that a dead dog in the road? No, it was a trash bag. Well, you just okay. want to yeah, touch yeah. her feelings. Uh, our child took their first steps when uh, she and I were visiting my parents while my w- husband was still at work. Later, when he got home, our daughter took a few steps toward him. He got extremely excited thinking those were her first steps, and so I just went with it. And got excited, too. She's 14 now, but I've never told him the truth. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, I mean, you want him to be equally excited, not uh, miss it. I will say the kids are looking more and more like you every day. Now, she spent nine months cooking each of them inside of her womb, Ugh. enduring sickness, fatigue, and torture, and these little efforts came out looking like clones of me. <laughs> uh, Lie that you could tell your uh, your spouse. I'm, I'm okay with that one, too. Yeah. I just want to say I, I think this one's funny. I asked for a cast iron griddle for my birthday. My friend got me a huge one, gave it to me early. My fiance gave me a smaller one on the day, and she was so upset that her thunder got stolen, even though it was just unintentional. But I put them both in the pantry until I thought she had forgotten. And I pulled out the big one. I told her it was the one that she gave me, and I cook breakfast on it all the time. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, we got some other people that are uh, texting over. I'll, I'll read those here in a second. But I, uh, here's a question for you guys. Uh, is it okay to lie to a person who is chronically late, friend, family member, menace, you deal with this yeah. with your wife, yeah. and tell them something starts earlier than it really does? I think yes. it is. Yeah. Because the internet is debating it thanks to this video that's going around by this woman she is one of those chronically late people. Here's the... Uh, if you're my best friends who just made a reservation for 8.30 and told me 8.00. Uh, well played because I just showed up at 8.22 and was like to the hostess, oh, like this table for 8 o'clock. And she was like, for 8.30? She was like, you're the first one here. And I was like, well played, well played. Yeah, see, it worked. Yeah. I support it. (laughs) See, she got there eight minutes early and did it kill her? And you do it. Oh, yeah. Did she die? Yeah. I know. Did it kill you to be on time? So it is possible to be on time? And that is your punishment for being a late person. Uh, yeah. This text says, I have a different schedule daily at work, and I'll exaggerate that time that I show up or that I'm done in order to sit in my car and unwind with some online gambling oh either beforehand God. or after my shift. Heck yeah. Uh, this one, 347, I constantly lie about the cost of my bicycles. I have three bicycles. One I spent $10,000 on, the other 15000 nice. <laughs> 
And the last one was closer to twenty thousand dollars for a bike. And she thinks I only spent about three to four thousand on each. It's wow. like from JP. Wow. He's also lying about his sexuality. You know? <laughs> uh, five six two. Little lie. That lady dresses like a whore. So gross. She probably has the clap. In reality, damn, that's hot. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> not a little lie. Yeah. That's, I mean, yeah, that's just being obnoxious. Yeah. Uh, 504, when I go to the grocery store and I forgot to buy something that was on the list that he requested, I'll say, oh, they were out. Sorry. Uh, oh, that, do you work for DoorDash? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. They're out of everything. Uh, him. Is my hair thinning? Me. Not that I can tell. Ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> But it is. Yeah, just totally. to uh, just to keep the peace. See, that's the kind of lie that you say to just protect somebody's feelings. Yeah, when you I, lie about saying I did something when you didn't. That's, yeah, right. that's a different that's, level. The question, yeah. is, as, the question is still, why did you lie Go, about that? Going back to the initial argument, I liked it. And I'm, I'm going to say this. This is not his own doing, but he is caught in the rag vortex. So again, no matter what he does, <laughs> he's going to vortex. He's going to hear about it and the reason he lied is because he doesn't want to hear about it. You yeah. understand what I'm yeah. saying? Well, uh, I except do, but... says he lied because she's a nag. Yeah, that's what he I'm saying. He knew the that she would complain or bitch about something stupid if she was easygoing, it wouldn't yeah. have lied. But so that's again, what Menace has been saying. You're yeah. putting this on a, no, a narrative on something that might not be the case. She was out the gardener was running early, and she said, "Can you God. just do a quick look for the, some dog?" I you put your cape on tighter so for her, Greg. Greg. But as a so that automatically means she's a at, constant rag. Greg, as <laughs> as a, as, a sh as a straight male who deals with women, <laughs> I'm telling you that he lied because there's a pattern of behavior where she is going to react in a certain way, and he does not want to deal with that. Yeah, okay, but he also oh, has a pattern and, and of I behavior. And I said, and I said, and, and, and I said it's not because of his own doing. Though. Right, and, here, and now example but A. But she's not listening to yeah, what I'm saying. Sammy, can you please continue with example A? Yeah. Well, what do you mean it's not because of his own doing? Because he, has a, he also has a pattern of behavior of not doing simple tasks like right. that. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you get out of the rag vortex menace? You lie and say that you did it. <laughs> <laughs> but, he's, but no, but he's not stuck in the rag vortex. Well, yeah. He's further down the rag hole. Uh, I know. The rag right, hole. so it's, it's both of them in the cycle right. that they're in. Uh -huh. So he's stuck in it. So rather than him. saying like, oh, I'm going to help my partner and be a helpful person in this relationship and that we're this life that we're sharing together, he just goes, I know. I'll continue I'll to not do I stuff and I'll stop. lie about it. It's yeah, a that's, harmless little it lie. It is. If it's, it's one, there's yeah, no it's real one victim time, here. But if yeah. it's a pattern. Yeah. Uh, six two six says, "I tell my wife that I like her cooking, but she's never heard of seasoning." Well, we gotta, yeah, we gotta, like Greg was saying, we gotta get rid of the white lies out of this yeah. conversation because it's not the the premise here. Like Greg, have you ever told Mario he looked like his outfit looked awesome and it was like not so fetch? Oh, I've told him not so <laughs> fetch. Mario like, always uh, looks fetch. Yeah, he always <laughs> looks good. But, but I have told him that I tell him the truth when he buys shoes that I think are totally stupid looking. Like Hane. Yeah, the, like just sell Hane shoes that are. I'm like, those are so ugly. He's like, oh, I bet him. Those are totes yeah. <laughs> But they're Gucci. I say, I think, he says, I think they're cool. I'm like, all right. Enjoy yeah. them. Your shoes. Yeah. Uh, wow. Well, thank you all for the, your uh, your text messages. All the texts are agreeing with me. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Man, this is 100% correct. And Sammy I like just, how nobody shh. questions why the husband lied about it yeah. instead of just doing well, it. Well, because she sounds like and she's a real controlling. And now there's this long history of her being a 24-hour oh, yeah. nag. Sounds yeah. like she's a really controlling hose beast, you know? Yeah. 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 That's all. R Rag She's vortex. not just looking for some help with the household. <laughs> no. That's, not, that's not what's happening. More what he shows next. Hang on.